the shards of glass into the trash When I pop an E string I can change a new one in a flash But when you break I'm stuck without a clue I never learned to fix a thing like you When the server's down Your pseudo has been reboot in a shell When the market tanks You call your broker Tell him sell, sell, sell But when you're down I don't know what to do I never learned to fix a thing like you When I cut my hand, I grab the Neo sparring from the shelf. When I stub my toe, I curse in flowing verses to myself. But when you hurt, I'm stuck without a clue. I never learned to fix a thing like you. When a faucet leaks, I tighten up the gasket with a wrench. When the toilet's stuck, I plunge it down before the floor gets drenched. But when you cry, I don't know what to do. I never learn to fix a thing like you. Parts. Yeah, I will learn to mend your troubled heart. Yeah, I will learn to mend your troubled heart. I know I'm slow. I've got so much to learn. Shows I'll be the place where. Running in the sand, living on the land. The salty breeze was in our eyes. We stood beneath the dragonflies and danced all night. We polished all the chrome on a rusty little home. We slept all night in parking lots We tied our hearts in double knots So tight So free So Songs we 
these songs so long ago With whiskey and an afterglow We shine like new But there along the way Something seemed to change As weeks turned into months we knew As life caught up we slowly grew apart Untied our hearts Remember when We were just cherubs in our tender skins Waiting patiently for love to begin But the summer went Hi everyone, Paul here. Um, totally different format to the video this time. As you see, I've just done my little project to start with. Um, and I'm doing the talking bit at the end. And that's basically because it's a Tuesday evening and I've just come out into the workshop for a couple of hours. And this particular project, inspired by Steve Jones. Um, I'm sure everybody who's looking at this video now, probably just about everybody know who Steve Jones is. Uh, but for those who don't, he's, um, he's got a channel on YouTube, uh, I think it goes by the name of Woodturner21 and I will put a link down in the, in the, in the description below. Uh, he's a professional turner, uh, 30 odd years experience, probably 35 plus, um, and he's an absolute master with a skew, which we all love watching. Now, he doesn't post too many videos up on his YouTube channel much these days. Uh, he does post an awful lot on, on Facebook. So I'll put a link down below again in the description for the Woodchuckers group. Uh, if you're interested in wood turning and not a member, um, certainly apply to be a member. It's a closed group. Uh, they just ask you a couple of questions and then you should be able to go in. And Steve Jones often puts lots of videos on there. I'd, this is one video I'd seen on his YouTube channel before and he posted it again on Woodchuckers uh, the other day and I thought, yeah, I really want to have a go at that one. Um, so for those who don't know what, actually what it is, it's a... It's basically a, a tool to making a, a seed pot out of just basically scrap paper. So you can grow your seeds in it. Um, when they germinate, rather than trying to take them out of a pot and whatever, you can just put the whole thing straight into the ground and obviously just being paper, it just biodegrades. So that's where I got the inspiration from him. Now his, if you watch his video, it's a seven minute video. Uh, this bit alone, um, just about everything with a skew, he turns in probably about two minutes. Um, I, was, I don't know how long I spent on there. I've made this one out of oak. Uh, it was still fairly moist, probably about 15 to 17%. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how it how it goes over time. Um, I have given it two or three coats of sanding sealer. Um, I then gave it a coat of Yorkshire grit to smooth it up, and then a final coat of um, canuba wax. Now the top, because that was where I parted off, I did actually have to do a fair bit of sanding on there, and obviously I can't put Yorkshire grit on there. Uh, well, not very easily anyway, so I just opted for this two or three coats of sanding sealer and a bit of canuba wax and try and buff it up. So it is probably a little bit rough, but having said that, that's obviously where your hand's going to be most of the time. So how does it work? Uh, for those who haven't seen the, Steve's video, the idea is... Now, <laughs> I've totally guessed on dimensions and everything here, so this may well not work whatsoever. The idea is you'd have a like a wide sheet of newspaper, so this is the only bit of paper I've got in the workshop uh, that I usually wrap up as a funnel. Um, so the newspaper would be a lot longer. From You measure from your top line to the bottom. Mark out. And the idea is then, you then just cut off that piece of paper at that length. So I'll just do this very roughly. And like I say, this, this bit of paper might not actually be long enough, so it'll be quite interesting to see 
this could be a total failure to start with. So there's your bit of paper, and the idea is then you then from the next line from the bottom line down, here's where you see whether it works or not, wrap it around along that line fairly tightly. I must say it's not So obviously a longer piece of newspaper would wrap round a lot more times. You then just fold all the bits in the middle and then with the base, just give it a good old push down and take it off and there's your little seed pot. So yeah, for really pleased, it worked. Um, obviously that's sort of like normal print and photocopy paper at 80 grams, so it's a lot thicker than newspaper, so that may well work possibly a bit better, being a bit stronger. But there you have your seed pot um, to be able to put a bit of soil in there, plant your seeds, and obviously when it's germinated, just pop the whole thing straight in the ground. So, that's a quick, quick project. Uh, it's an evening job. Um, quite pleased with it. Um, I may have another go at another one another time um, and I might see if somebody actually wants this. My mother absolutely loves her garden with her flowers but I dare say she's got so many pots that she puts seeds in and whatever that she probably wouldn't be even interested in this anyway but anyway it was a really really fun project to do. So if this is your first time here uh, I do try and do usually one project video a week and uh, this is just a little extra one. Try to do something different every time um so please do hit the subscribe button um for everybody really thank you very much for watching uh please do hit the like button hit the hit um hit the share button and please do leave some comments so it'd be interesting to hear your feedback on this um thoroughly enjoyable so thanks a lot for watching see you at the next project bye